My name is Ruth Gilbert, and I want to tell you a short little bit about the health trek that followed the 24 projects. The question was, how do you do health in a village without a doctor, a nurse, a clinic, and all of those resources? So this is the team. You can see under my eyes. It was composed of Ruth and Ken Gilbert, Bob and Sandra True, Sandra has since died, and this lovely energetic woman with the blonde hair is Karen, I don't remember her last name, and this is a woman who was diabetic. She, she went into shock one time in a boat and we had to pour orange juice down her mouth, but we were a team, we went together to a bunch of sites, including Egypt, Korea, um, I, I think Hong Kong, S uh, and then we split into two teams and somebody went to the Philippines and the rest of us went to Africa and then we joined up again in India and there were some other places, but those were the main spots. But we arrived in London, we got, got s here from Chicago to London with all our baggage and we all had four or five pieces of luggage. And when we got in London and were ready to do the international trip from London down into Egypt, we found out that our luggage limitations were much more restricted. So this was a time before TSA, and we had to figure out how to get everything we brought with us down to Egypt. It included a microscope so we could begin to talk about germ theory and how the water little things that you can't see that are in the water can make you sick. So there we are in London with all of our luggage and we've been refused access. So a couple of us women were assigned to go stand at the post near where people were signing in for their ticket to go to Egypt and we picked out uh, a female and a female without children and a female without children who had light luggage and we walked up to her and said we're trying to get this to go to Egypt to do this health training whatever whatever would you sign one of our pieces of luggage on with yours and carry it down and we'll get it right off the luggage rack when we get to Egypt and so we got I don't know 15 or 20 we got a lot of luggage carried down by people who knew nothing of us or anything about us and it was it was really fun. Anyway, then we got to Egypt, and I don't want to tell a whole lot more about that health trek because we need to get my husband who would enjoy telling that. But I know that we had to check in with the imam to be sure we were killing the chicken correctly. Um, it was a Muslim village and a lot of other fun. But that London story in luggage is so bizarre now when you think about TSA and all the limitations that we have getting through.